What's up, 802 Diesel Crew? Today, we're working on one of my cars. Uh, we had a starting issue. Uh, no crank, no start. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, already taking the starter out. We're gonna do a little testing on that. But uh, for these Hondas, this happens to be a CRV. Uh, the intake manifold comes down here, and then that's the starter is tucked up underneath. So you need to take apart a lot of stuff to get to it. So uh, let's take a minute and let's go check out how we bench test the starter. Okay, to run this test, you're going to need some kind of power source. Um, I have to have this battery jumper pack. You can use an actual battery with some leads. Um, you're going to need your starter that you're going to bench test, some kind of bench, and some kind of starter button. This happens to be the uh, snap-on version. So the way you set this up is you put your power to the power terminal on the starter. Then most of these starters are case grounded, so you put the negative to the case. Then you run the starter switch between the power and the S terminal. Okay, for whichever reason the other battery pack didn't work. So we'll hook this one up real fast. Again, put your black to the case. Put your red to your where your positive leads would be coming in. Get that connected. Take your starter button. And the two leads on the back of your starter button. Put one to your positive. Then one down to your S terminal here. Okay, from here we have energized the battery pack and we will hit the uh, starter button to see if we can get the starter to turn over and engage. So this sounds like a very healthy starter. So I'm gonna be reusing this starter. Um, this is the one that I've bench test and I have another one that I'm gonna try out here in a second. Okay, so we've had our second starter all set up. We have the first one over here. So this is the second one set up in the same uh, kind of pattern. Uh, we're going to take the starter button. We're making a 12.8 at the battery pack. Let's see how good it works. Now that would be the reason for our uh, no start, no crank. It's uh, the solenoid in there. You can hear it clicking over. But something in there uh, must be corroded and rusted. Um, we could take it apart and diagnose it further. But for this, uh, for this we know that this starter is bad, so this one's going to be jumped, and this one's going to be a good one going back in the CRV. Alright, so this is how I bench test a starter. Um, some applications you can do it right inside the car. This one happens to be that I had to take it out, so uh, I just bench test two of them. Uh, one of them I had in a parts car, and one came out of the good car. The one that came out of the good car is the one that didn't want to turn over, so now uh, we know that the uh, parts car one is meant, so I don't have to buy one, I'll put that right in. Um, if you're wondering what some of this stuff back here is, this is from a Perkins slash Caterpillar engine. Uh, the block looks like it's over there. So, uh, a lot of cool stuff going on here. If you like this style of video, you know, give it that thumbs up, like, um, leave a comment if you, if you saw something I did wrong or need a little bit more information. Um, but as always, A from 802 Diesel Crew, signing out.